Hello there. I'm not in Merchant Bay today. Instead, I'm out in the meadows to take part in the 100 wood and 5 stones build challenge set by Splash O'Pain. As the name suggests, the challenge is to build a base using no more than 100 wood and 5 stones. Your base must include a functional workbench, a functional bed, a chest, and a fire that can withstand a thunderstorm. My design is inspired by a scene in a video by Ember. In that video, she was seated on a fallen log in front of a campfire, which led me to ponder the idea of a quick and easy temporary camp build for those times when I'm out exploring the world and need a place to safely sleep away the night. My first attempt involved placing a raised floor between a couple of trees to hold a bed. That build lasted about a day before it got destroyed by a troll, but it would have looked something like this. I've built temporary camps on the ground, and I've built them raised up on poles. But none of them ever felt like a serious build. They weren't anything interesting enough to remember and build again. Self-imposed limitations can be very inspiring. When I saw Splash's challenge video, I immediately thought of the raised platform camps that I had tried in the past. The limitation of resources imposed by the challenge was just what I needed to finally come up with a design that I would be happy to build out in the wild. If you want to build this for yourself, you can follow along with this build tutorial. The workbench, bed, chest, and campfire will use 30 wood. This leaves only 70 wood for the build. Level the ground and place a workbench. This will be moved later on. Place two wood floor 2x2s. Place two meter wood poles at each of the four corners. Remove the wood floors from ground level and place them at the top of the two meter poles. Place a wood ladder. Place four more two meter wood poles. Then place a one meter wood pole on each of those. Next, place a single 45 degree thatch roof ridge. This will be used as a snap point for the 45 degree thatch roof piece. Once you place a 45 degree thatch roof piece, you can remove the thatch roof ridge. Place three more thatch roof pieces. Remove the two one meter poles on one end and place two 45 degree wood walls. Do the same for the other end. Place wood walls along the back and on each side. Stack a 2 meter pole and a 1 meter pole on the front edge between the two floor pieces. Place a wood wall half here and one here. Then place a bed and claim it. Now for the fireplace. Place wood walls on three sides, leaving the far side open. Add wood wall one by ones to make each side wall three meters long. Place 26 degree wood walls at the end of each side. Place a 26 degree roof. Add two floor one by ones to close this gap. Destroy the workbench, then move it under the platform and against the fireplace wall. Place a box. Place the campfire. Now to test the campfire against a thunderstorm. The final test, does it sleep? It does. You can find more information on the 100 wood and 5 stone challenge in Splash's video. Thanks for watching.